Space. 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 Introduction to Physical Education and its Important So physical education is important because it is one of the venues of developing the personal holistically. So the objectives for this topic are Give the importance of physical education in curriculum Define physical education and give its objectives, functions, and main goal of physical education. Identify and differentiate health-related and skill-related fitness components. Perform the rever revise physical fitness and sports talent test. Identify the components being taped in game, game activities. Values the importance of having a physical fit body through participation of different physical activities. Compute body mass index. So our topics are physical education definition, objectives and importance, fitness components, physical fitness Sports, talent, test identification, and simple games. So, physical education. It is an integral part of educational program designed to promote the optimum development of the individual physical, physically, socially, emotionally, and mentally through to total body movement in the performance of properly selected physical activities. So there are three functions of physical education. We have biological function. It refers to the enhancement of the individual's growth and development through body movement. We have integrity function. It pertains to personality integration achieved through participation in properly selected physical education activities. So it provides relaxation and relief from strains and tensions. It also develops the mental capacities of the individual. And lastly, it gives opportunities for socialization. So social function contains of transmitting values and standards that are consistent with the needs of ideals of society. The objectives of physical education. We have number one, physical development. So it develops and maintains good health. It also acquires level of physical fitness, growth and development will be enhanced. Next, number two, we have social development. Provide desirable social traits needed for adjustment to the social life. We also develop friendliness. Cooperation, respect for the rights of others, good sportsmanship, good leadership and followership, honesty in group competition. Third, we have emotional development. So it offers self-expression and emotional mastery. Self-confidence is also developed, self-control, 
Self-reliance, courage, determination. Mental development. Develop his mental capacities as he learns the mechanical principles underlying movements. We also acquire knowledge and understanding of rules and strategies of games and sports as he discovers ways of improving his movements in gymnastics and dance. So we have the definition of physical fitness. Number one, I mean, it is the capacity of the individual to accomplish his or her regular daily activities without undue fatigue. And his and still has an ample amount of reserve energy to enjoy leisure and meet emergencies. So this is physical fitness. It is our capacity. Dili dali ka po yun. Through regular exercise, physical fitness helps the individual. We are help in the proper growth of young bones and muscles. It also improves the ability to avoid and recover from illness and accidents. Improve posture and appearance by strengthening muscles that support the body. Feel good and younger as a human being. Experience joy of participation in any recreational or sports activities. So, may bawa na to ang isa ka physical fit person if he or she enjoys participation in any recreational sports. Kanang kiak. It also minimize strength, minimize stress response, maintain proper body weight, prevent heart ailment, improve organic function. And delay the process of aging. So, dili kay dali matiguang. Next, the, cut, the two categories of physical fitness components. Number one, the health related com components. So, what is health related components? Are physiologically based and determined. The ability of an individual to meet the physical demands of the activity. So under the health-related components, we have flexibility, cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, and body composition. So, flexibility, it is the ability of the muscles and joints to go through the full range of motion. Kung asa kutub siya mabend. Cardiovascular endurance, the capacity of the heart, the blood, vessels, and lungs to adapt to physical exertion for the prolonged duration. So, endurance man. So, Dugay, long ang ato ang capacity or ang exertion in a certain kind of physical activities. Muscular strength is the capacity of a group of muscles to exert one maximal effort against resistance. Muscular strength, kung asa kuto bang iyahang um ma-exert nga effort sa isa ka physical activities. Kung kusgan ba ang atong muscles. Then, muscular endurance is the ability to sustain long, continued contractions where a number of muscle groups are used. 
the capacity to bear or last long in a certain task without undue fatigue. Body composition refers to the prolonged be proportion between far fat weight and total body weight. It is determined by the amount of fat and lean tissues in the body. So the second one is the skill related components. It is based the neuromuscular system and determine how successful a person can perform a specific skill. First, we have agility, the ability to change direction and position of the body quickly and effectively while under control. Next is balance. It's the ability of the individual to maintain equilibrium in relation to changes in body position. Coordination is the harmonious working relationship between the skeletal muscles and nerves in one aspect of movement. Power is the ability to perform one explosive muscular effort in a short period of time, the product of strength and speed. Speed is the ability to perform a task or move from one point to another in shortest possible time. Reaction time the time required to respond or initiate a movement as a result of a given stimulus. 